And here's another topic for us today called complex fractions. And the name is something that might uh, lead to some confusion. This has actually nothing to do with complex numbers, where we have the real and imaginary parts of a number. There's nothing to do with that. It's, it's a, prop, a more proper name might be complicated fractions. And as you can see, this looks uh, fairly complicated. You have a fraction minus a fraction divided by a fraction plus a fraction. And the best way to simplify that, which is really what we want to do here, simplify this expression in the, in the most simple form, is to look at each fraction in the, um, in the whole problem here and look at each denominator. So we have a 2 in this denominator, we have a 4 in this denominator, we have an 8 over here, and we have a 4 over there. So notice there's four fractions within that complex fraction, and each of those has a denominator, and those are the numbers, 2, 4, 8, and 4. So the trick that I like to use here is to find the lowest common denominator of all the denominators of all the fractions in this complex fraction. Wow, that's a, that's a mouthful, isn't it? But with other words, look at all the numbers that I circled and what is the lowest common denominator. In this case, it looks like 8 is because 4 fits into 8 evenly and so does 2. So we can say that the LCD, in this case, is equal to 8 of all these fractions in there. And what we're going to do now is we're going to multiply the numerator of this complex fraction by the LCD. And of course, whatever we do to the numerator, we must do the same to the denominator. So we're going to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the lowest common denominator. Now, when I multiply this 8 times a half and this 8 times a negative 1 quarter and over here the 8 times 7 eighths and the 8 times a quarter, what do we get? Well, 2 goes into 8 4 times, so 8 divided by 2 is 4, so that ends up being 4 times 1, which is 4, minus 4 goes into 8 2 times, so that becomes 2 times 1, or minus 2, divided by 8 divided by 8 is 1, so essentially this is 1 times 7. And 4 goes into 8 2 times, so that becomes 2 times 1, or plus 2. And now we just have to combine terms. So this is equal to 4 minus 2, which is 2, and 7 plus 2, which is 9. And the answer is 2 ninths. Okay, so let's do a few more examples like this.